What's going on YouTube? My name is John. Welcome back to another Jumpman Junkie 2 YouTube review. Have to do another review on these just because they are super beautiful and upcoming. Got a very nice box with Michael Jordan on the cover. He's got the shoes that are inside the box wrapped around his neck. Check out the sizing sticker. We got size 11 men's. This shoe is set to release January 1st of 2025. Here's all the seller information. Yes, this is a replica shoe. You can use this coupon, get 15, or you can use coupon code JUMP and get yourself 20 bucks off. Check it out. You get the Wings logo with the signature. Not the signature, but um, special edition M. Jordan. So yeah, the signature. Paper has the Nike on it and some pictures. Let's dive right into the kicks. The box is cool, but the kicks are cooler. I laced them up with the black laces. Check these out. Crazy quality on these. Can't wait to wear these. I gotta get these on foot. Here were the red laces they also came with. They came with that, um, traditional reimagined style laces one black one red uh, but i took the reds out because i don't want the red laces in i think it looks better with the og black laces but yeah the box is awesome and the shoes are even more awesome check these out look at the toe box shape on these and you can see the glisten from the light that these are not a heavy shine it's more of a dull finish to the leathers and that's on every panel. So the toe box with the white panel, uh, the black leathers, they're all have the shine taken off of them. A big detail that's different from a regular Jordan 1 or the OG release of the black toe is that we do not have an Air Jordan Wings logo. You guys know that by now it says Air Jordan. And I thought this looked small. I mentioned this in the first video I made on these. Um, I thought that looked small, but this is exactly like the retail pairs. The retail pairs right now are going for like 250 or 260. You can buy them before they come out. Don't ask me how the public gets their hand on these before uh, release date. I do really know, but I'm, that's a discussion for a whole different day. These are reps. Um, you can get these close to 100 bucks. Check it out. Upshoe.ru. I already got a smudge and I didn't even wear these yet. I might have tried them on. I came right off. Anyways, sale. A nice heavy sale on the midsole beautiful varsity red on that outsole this one does not have the signature or does it nope this one doesn't have the signature on it but this one does and it says uh my very best michael jordan i try to get you guys shots of that it's right here it's the opposite of the air jordan where the wings logo usually goes it's opposite of that and it's only on one shoe but yeah, check out the shape. Sizing fits perfect. One thing that you can tell um, a lot of times with reps is the quality of the whole entire shoe by the tongue. And if the tongue is firm, sturdy, thick, and exactly like Nike does it, uh, most likely you have a very high quality shoe. But yeah, the leathers feel really good. They're all genuine. Uh, they're stiff, but that is how this shoe is supposed to come. Yeah. I think it's a clean shoe. It's got the hourglass shape. If you guys can see that. The overall shape on this thing is very accurate. I really like the toe box. And I really like what Nike's doing. That They're bringing back OG stuff, but instead of the same boring OG stuff, they're making it, you know, 2024 or 2025 um, unique, if you want to put it like that. Very clean. Check the inside of the shoe. We got a nice black swoosh. That is real leather. Swoosh on the other side is real. Stitching looks really good. It comes up as it's supposed to, comes over. Same with this side, comes right up, comes over. I like this part of the shoe, very comfortable. The neck, it is legit leather. It's real genuine. You guys can see the shine, check that out. It's like a very dull shine. Anyways, guys, this was the Black Toe Reimagined Review. What a clean pair. I really like these. And I, I didn't think I would like these. I, I At first, I saw this Air Jordan right here where the Wings logo goes. And I was like, 
No, the Wings logo is one of my favorite things on a Jordan 1. But really, I honestly don't mind it on this shoe. I'm glad they have the Wings logo on other shoes, but this kind of matches the description. I like the sale as well. Very good. The comfort level on this is 10 out of 10. I know a lot of people say Jordan 1s aren't that comfortable. For me, I think this is one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes. Not just this Jordan 1 in particular, but Jordan 1s. And I think Jordan 1 lows, like all the Travis Scotts, those fit me awesome. I love that. Size 11, same with the highs. Um, sometimes you will get a stiff backing on a Jordan 1. This might dig in for the first few wears. Um, this shoe does not have that problem. I, I Like I said, I think this is a super comfortable shoe. A lot of people are going to disagree with that statement with the Jordan 1. Um, but hey, everybody's different. Black Toe Reimagined, Jumping and Junkie 2, out of here.